Hey guys, so I know it's been some time since I've done any updates or any reviews or anything like that. Um, I've just been busy with work, haven't really gotten around to doing anything video wise. But I thought I'd do an update since it's been a while. Um, some things I've put, you know, things I've purchased over the past month. And uh, let's get into this because I, I got a good variety of stuff here, mostly horror, but some non horror. And uh, start off with the basket case. The arrow release. Um, yeah, I got this for my birthday actually uh, last month, and I enjoyed this movie. Uh, I had never seen it before, and I was I, I figured it was either this one or the uh, something weird version. But I I heard that this was a better quality uh, print, or you know, better video quality on this one. And I, I like the shiny case too. Yeah, but yeah, this is a fun movie. I, I've watched three or four of the interviews. There's a lot of features on here. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Um, but yeah, there's a, quite a few interviews. and um, yeah, mo It's mostly interviews, I, I think, but there's a video essay, there's a location feature, right, looks, which seemed interesting to me. I do want to go right around and check out more of the features, and I, I plan on it. So. I guess if this thing is loaded, with features and Arrow really knocked us out of the park. Like, yeah, um, I don't really feel like taking this out of the subcover. You guys have probably seen the inner case and the booklet. Um, watch the Arrow video story if you haven't, because like I said, I just want to get through this because I got other stuff I got to do today. Um, Hands of Steel, another Blu ray I was last month. Sergio Martino, I'm Starting to see more of his movies, uh, you know, I, I think I showed Torso in my last update. Yeah, from the uh, Shameless sale they, they had a few months ago. Um, this was, this was fun. Um, you know, Terminator ripoff. Uh, I, I still haven't checked out the interview with Sergio Martino. It's about 40 minutes long from what it says on the back. Over 40 minutes, yeah. And then there's some screenshots. Um, I like this movie. Well, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot of, it's, it's better than I thought it would be. You know, you have him arm wrestling that this, uh, Daniel Green. Yeah. And John Saxon plays a villain character in this movie. Um, I, like I said, check it out if you're interested. There's also a code red release and on the back it says region B, but I played on my player without switching over to to region B and it played fine. So I guess it's A and B or, or region free. As far as I know, it's, it's, I guess it's just a discrepancy they have sometimes with UK releases is that it'll say region B a lot of times on the back, but then it played fine for me. So, I mean, I, I, I was more interested in this one than that was a code red one. Cause I know the code red, I, I believe that's out of print or it was a limited release, something like that. And then again, I, I am getting more to 88. Yes, 88 films. <laughs> and their releases anyway. So I figured, yeah. I just like, I'll play eBay for a decent price, which is good that I didn't have to wait a long time to. Because I got it from a US seller. So if I had bought it directly from the 88 films, it would have taken longer to get here. I, I imagine. I never ordered directly from them, so I don't know. I'm still, like I said, I'm still getting into their movies they put out. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how I should go, about. oh, I think I got one more, well, actually it's a Blu-ray DVD combo, I'm just moving this around, so it makes sense, I got, uh, Infernal Affairs, I, it's been a while since I've seen this movie, yeah, it's, it inspired The Departed, um, I remember liking it, but I think when I watched that, I watched it in English, not... Cantonese, so I'm gonna watch it in Cantonese this time. I remember the dub wasn't that great. It was okay, but I prefer to watch, you know, Asian films in, in their you know native language. Um, this is a Canadian release. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah, that was Avi Bay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the order I should do this in. Okay, I think I got it now. So. I actually have in front, I have two copies of Infernal Affairs too. So the reason that this is is because this is one my client bought for me 
that I, the veteran I was working with early last month, it was like, yeah, early last month, we went over to the thrift store and he bought me some DVDs. Bought me this one, which is actually a Cantonese version. There's no English subtitles on this. I, I believe it's, yeah, Cantonese with Cantonese subtitles. It's region six. Um, I don't understand Cantonese, so I wasn't able to really watch it. <laughs> and I didn't know it didn't have English. Because, I mean, I can't, like I said, I can't read Cantonese, so I, I wouldn't have known the difference at the time, you know. But if anyone wants this, let me know. Uh, I tried selling on eBay, and so far nobody has... Uh, nobody seems interested in it on eBay. But, uh, you know, then again, I do like this case. It is kind of different than what I have. I like... I don't know. It's just It just stands out, this case. So maybe I'll keep it, you know. I mean, at least the case is cool. And as far as I can tell, this is a budget release because there's no menu. And there's no social features. And I think that's why this this is this might indicate about it. At least, like I said, I don't, I can't read Cantonese. <laughs> but you know, um, at least I was able to play it Region Six because I'm a Region Three player. So yeah. And then he got me the client. This one does have English subtitles. This is Infernal Affairs Three. Um, this is a special edition, which does have features. This is the uh, Media Asia release, which I think is also Region 6. It doesn't say on the back. Um, I, I like this slipcover, actually. It's kind of a, I like the artwork on there. It's too bad this is just a generic, you know, there's nothing on this, which I don't know if that's how this was init initially released. And maybe just somebody, maybe somebody just swapped the case and they put it in, in here. I don't know, but you know, I look forward to checking out all three movies. And then I have a note. I should have shown this thing the other way, but I ended up buying this obviously Infernal Affairs two, the uh, the two disc uh, Media Asia release, which was a nice addition, like better than I thought it would be. I like, I mean, the subcover artwork is kind of bland to me, but. You know, as you see, like I said, two disc. Um, it does have English subtitles. Region three. Um, media Asia release. I think I said that. Yeah. And yeah, but yeah, this is a nice edition. That. Uh, you know, this is really good. Uh, you know, this this case is really just top quality too. You know, so yeah. This should be worthwhile. I mean, like I said, all the movies should be worthwhile. My client also bought me uh, a copy of the, uh, well, Better Tomorrow, all three movies. So far, I only watched the first one. But, you know, I'm getting more to John Woo's movies. John Woo, yeah, John Woo's movies. And Chow Yun Fat, you know, we have him here lighting it. His cigarette with a flaming dollar. The, the iconic shot from A Better Tomorrow. That's only like one second though. But I guess it's because it's so, you know, badass. That's why they decided to have it on here, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to get around to checking out the other two movies. Which is interesting because this is a Region 1 release. From what I can tell. And then it has Cantonese on the back. So I don't know. That's just strange to me. Um, but yeah, I'm into Asian cinema. I, I probably said that before. Um, and I do have two more movies that are kind of in that milieu. I went to Rasputin last week and I actually find, I was trying to find a copy of Dead Alive, either Blu-ray or DVD, which I know both of those are out of print, but I ended up getting some good deals anyway. I got Kazuki Suzuki's Blood. Which I thought looked like a decent uh, Yakuza movie. I think it's Yakuza. Yeah. But it's Japanese. Um, kind of a blind buy for me. And, you know, I'm sure it'll be decent. Yeah. N Nikatsu Corporation. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Nikatsu? Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but I haven't seen any of those movies either. I I've heard of them, but I'm not that familiar with them. 
And then I got Most Dangerous Game, which I haven't seen this movie in a while. The, the alpha video release. Uh, I remember really liking this one. 1932. This is the oldest movie I bought in one of the oldest movies I own, next to Vampire. Um, yeah. Not much to say about this. I mean, I read the story in high school, I think. Or maybe middle school. But yeah. Great movie from what I remember. And then I got to... <laughs> Samson versus a Vampire Woman. And I know... Um, well, Samson, this is... Uh, if you're not familiar, is the uh, Mexican wrestler Santo. He he had done several movies. I, I know I've seen one of the movies before. It may have been this one. I don't remember, but you know, I thought this looked kind of fun, kind of neat, and uh, yeah, I I'd, I'm interested in seeing more of the the Santo movies. You know, because like I said, I, I've only seen one, and. Uh, yeah, I, I, they seem like they're a lot of fun. Um, I think I will read the back because I like the description looks interesting. Night brings many unexplainable phenomena. Does the dark side really only come out at night, or is it alive at all times? At the end of the two hundredth year, the Lord Lordess Tundra will come back to claim her life upon the chosen one. Then she will be able to continue with the ritual of the vampire woman. Only one sign will bear the chosen one's curse. The sign of the vampire upon her left shoulder. Destiny awaits only with the help of Samson, the greatest vampire slayer of all. And the chosen one have power over destiny. So yeah, Samson is the English name of Santo, the, the Mexican wrestler. And it doesn't mention anything about the Mexican wrestler on the back. So I didn't, I wasn't actually really familiar with the English title of this movie, but I had heard of Santa. I mean, I think most B-movie fans have, you know. Um, and I got two more here. I'll show off. Uh, Grindhouse Video was having uh, an Unearthed Films sale. So I got two of them. I got 964 Pinocchio. So I don't watch this. Um, it's... Japanese, a Japanese cyberpunk collection. <laughs> um, yeah, I I heard of this one before, but I, I didn't buy it until recently. I and and there was a review on Body Bags that Corey did that made me want to check it out. Um, yeah, should be interesting. It's uh, this is a cybernetic sex android. Involved, <laughs> uh, and I, I guess I'm in for something crazy. That's all I can tell. And then, lastly, another one from the sale is uh, Dead Fury. What's this yesterday? It's animated horror. It mixes uh, Evil Dead with The Hills Have Eyes. I thought it was fun, you know. And I, I this is uh, Frank Sudol. He did everything in this movie. He did the voices, animation, music, you know, animated horror. I think I said that already. But yeah, um, I wanted to see this one for a while too, and I got around to watching it yesterday. Mm, yeah. What else was I going to say about this? Um, the old man, the, the, this character here, I thought he was pretty funny. <laughs> and Max here is yeah their their banters are, are just so entertaining in this movie I'd say check this one out especially if you're not haven't seen much animated horror like I haven't um, it's definitely unique definitely different and uh, even if it's not even if you don't end up liking this movie Um, you know, at least you could say it was different, it was unique, you know, because, um, there's, I don't think there's much animated horror coming out nowadays, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I think the only problem I had with this movie was, like, the third act wasn't that strong as the first two, 
But, you know, I mean, I still enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I don't know if any of these other movies I would recommend. Well, Basket Case, of course, I'd recommend that one. They're all piled up here, so I don't you have to bear with me. Yeah, Basket Case and Better Tomorrow, and I would recommend... Say Hands of Steel. Yeah. I think that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.